Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this mini series, I'm looking at some of the best plugins from Waves Audio, and I've got a really good reverb plugin for you right now. Reverb is fantastic. I can even do it here on my Soundcraft desk. Whoa! Very nice indeed. Uh, but what about adding it to productions that you're making, particularly when you're working in radio imaging, creating DJ drops or anything that's produced? Well, let's hop in and have a look. Before I do, though, like this video and remember to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you never want to miss a video again, ding that bell. Uh, let's hop in and take a look at H Reverb. This is H Reverb, hybrid reverb, essentially from Waves. And I think it's really cool. And this is why. First of all, I've got a little audio sample here from our voiceover at Music Radio Creative, Al. In the house. Nice and strong. Uh, now, you can switch on the reverb and have a listen. This is as it sounds on default settings. In the house. Just a standard reverb going on there. But there's so much more to this. Obviously, you can go ahead and move this around so you can make the reverb louder initially and then tail off here at the four second mark. You can make it a shorter reverb so I can make it really tiny. In the or really long, like six seconds long. So those are your basic reverb controls there. Uh, you've also got the opportunity down here to change different settings about how exactly you want that reverb to work out. But what I find the most interesting thing about this particular H Reverb plugin from Waves Audio is that you can expand out and get all of these really cool settings so I can make a really cool fine-tuned reverb. First of all, I might choose that I want to lose the bass frequencies and focus on high-end reverb. So you've got EQ Reverb here. If I take off that low end and start to enhance some of the highs here, a nice crisp reverb there. You can also work on the dampening as well. We're dampening the low end. I could move that off. That gives us something very, or I could dampen the high end. So you can kind of work on exactly what it is you want to get. What I really like are all of these different settings. So let's look at Decay Envelope. And that's how quickly the reverb decays and also the gain of that decay as well. So whether you want the reverb to tail off quickly or slowly. And then you've obviously got density as well as to how much the reverb, and you can see it fading in and out there. So we'll leave it around there. Input Echoes, I think, is one of the most fantastic features of H Reverb, and I think you're really going to like it. So if I start introducing this uh, into the mix, this is on now, and we'll start to move this up. In the house. So essentially, we've got a slapback echo going on there, and we've got loads of different presets here. In the house. And we can try this one. And you can change the diffusion. And uh, let's find something else we quite like. So that's quite nice. Output echoes, we can take, take this down a bit. The size down a bit. And we've also got dynamics. Uh, so this is really helpful for uh, ducking the reverb behind the voice if we need to with the threshold and recovery here. I'm going to leave that is, as is at the moment. We've also got drive, which kind of saturates the voice. Let's listen to what happens when I push this up. In the a real sort of crunchy saturation can be great for creating a great sounding radio imaging uh, piece of work or radio jingle. In the Sounding quite nice. And we've got modulation here I can switch on. In the house. Make it nice and stereo. In the Change the FM mix. In the house. So we kind of get that flange effect. In the house. Maybe take the drive off a bit there on the global. In the house. And then we'll pull down the dry wet signal so we get more of the dry. In the And, I mean, there's so much you can do. You can reduce the size. The so tons of stuff. I'm not happy with those echoes. I can change them a bit. The so much you can do here. The so a ton of stuff you can do, uh, and you can sync it to work with your music track, your backing music bed, or whatever you want. You can really move this stuff around here. You've also got these lovely patterns as well. Which you can play around in with. The house. ER select there. In the house. 
which just changes how prominent the reverb is and the effects are at certain points. So lots you can do here in H Reverb Hybrid Reverb from Waves. I think it's a cool plugin, not only because it can do great reverb that you can control visually like this, but you can also move the dials over here and you can see different things changing in your reverb here and also here with the echoes and where they're placed and those can all be moved around. Uh, really is a very dynamic plugin uh, for reverb, particularly if you're not happy with the reverb that already exists in your audio editor. If you'd like to get this or any other Waves plugin at a 10% discount, head over to mrc.fm forward slash waves. That is mrc.fm forward slash waves. And let me know how you'll be using this plugin in the comments down below.